Hello and welcome to jobskillshare.org. This video is an attempt to help the help desk community, the IT professionals, and as well as the end users all around the world. If you're using any connect, this video is for you. Now, we assume that you already have the link from your company, like remote.yourcompany.com. You're going to give, go to this link. Sometimes if a company have not bought a certificate, it may throw an error for warning. Now you may have to proceed to that, but make sure you confirm it with your IT department. They may even help you guide everything. But if you know it's exactly the same link, they may not have uh, bought the certificate. So you may see that. If it's bought and if everything is correct and they are using a, a valid certificate, then you will not see that that error. So that's the first thing. So people can get stuck in there. Now, if you come to this link, you may see a page like this. Now, this is again, if a company have done an upgrade to their systems, they may you may see this new portal page. Now, if they have not, I will also show you the old page, which is a direct, just a login page. Now, if you look on the bottom on this page, they also have instructions. If you click on plus sign like this, this is from Cisco. And here you have nice instructions, download. You are going to get this downloader right there. Once you double click on it, you're going to see this um, message from Wel uh, welcome to Cisco. Then you're going to see the step four, step five, and step six is the important one because you need an admin rights basically to install this. So you have to be making sure that whichever laptop you're using at home, you have rights to actually install a software. So once you click on yes, then you will see this message right here, completing, and then on Windows 10, you're going to see this on start menu, or you can search any connect, and you will see this icon for Cisco any connect. Then when you cl click on open, this is again, the company will tell you either they're going to be using a full link like remote.cisco.com, or maybe they'll give you IP address, whichever method they use, they will give you that and you click on connect. After this, it depends on, again, how the company have set up their environment. Most likely, it's going to be Active Directory. So you're going to be using the same username and network password that you usually log into your computer at home. But if that's not working, make sure to call your IT department and they will definitely help you which, which type of username and password is required over here. So as soon as you connect, now you're connected to the internal network. So once you're connected to the internal network, what can you do? You can open the internal websites, intranet sites, and also any, uh, you know, share folders or map drives should start working. If you don't have those type of files, then I'll show you an example right now how to actually connect and then access some of the drives. So we're just going to do a demo so it can give you a little bit more uh, clarity. So you will click on download for Windows and you see the download is happening on the left corner of Chrome. If you're using a different browser, make sure to go to the browser and click on it and then click on download and see where that download is. And then after that, you need to basically open that uh, download wherever that's downloading. So in Chrome, it's basically in this folder, the downloads folder. You can open it from here as well. So I'm going to go ahead and open it and run this installer. Once you open that folder, this is the file. You will right click on it and then you click on run as administrator. Now this is where I mentioned that you need to have admin rights on the computer that you're installing VPN connection, the any connect. You're just going to click yes over here. And then you can see the download just started with the same instructions that we were provided over here. I'm going to click next over here and accept the agreement. And then you're going to click next and install. And that's it. After this, you just need to open the AnyConnect client on the machine and type the same either IP address or the link, which is going to be remoteyourcompany.com or vpn.com, whatever it is. Ask your IT department and then basically use your Active Directory username and password and then you're connected. Now to search AnyConnect client on your machine, simply go to your uh, search box on here or you can click on the start menu. You should also see a Cisco from here. There you go. There's Cisco and this is the AnyConnect client. You can also search in the box by just typing AnyConnect. And when you click on it, you can see on the right side, it will just pop up. If it doesn't pop up like that, you can just do it again one more time. Click on the agent and you see there is where you need to type that link. And then you need to click on connect. And then that's where you need to put that username and password. To confirm that you are connected to AnyConnect, simply open this arrow on the right side of the screen. 
here you can see VPN is connected. If you put your mouse on top of it, it's connected. Now from here on, when a help desk professional tell you to open remote desktop connection to log into your work machine, what they're implying that you first need to make sure you connect to the VPN, so which, which is connected. Then you can open the RDP tool, which you can also search by remote desktop connection like this on your machine. When you click on the remote desktop connection, then you can open up and type the machine name of your work machine name. So when you type that and you click on connect, it's going to ask you for another approval for the certificate. So you will click yes on that. After that, you will type again your network username and password in that machine to be able to log in. Now, sometimes what happens is that they may be, uh, you know, you may be getting a, a message that it's not working. Simply when you click on connect and when you click on connect, it's going to do this and it may get this error. Now, this error could be many things. Either your machine is not on or there is some other things that needs to be done. So at this moment, if you get this error, you need to contact your IT department because either they need to enable a remote desktop remote option or they need to turn on your machine or you, your machine needs to be just restarted if there is any other issues going on. But again, this is something that your IT team can fix. This is not something that a remote user can fix by themselves. Now, another common question you may have, how do I get to one of my servers that we have a map drive at, at work and how do I get to that shared folders that I was working on inside the office? So your IT department or the help desk team will tell you, yes, you can do it once you connect to VPN. So this is an important point. Once you connect to VPN, then you need to write the path like this in, inside your Windows Explorer, not Internet Explorer. This is something that you just open a folder and that's Explorer address right here all you have to do is to put slash slash backslash slash that's a network path and then here they will just type like for example I'm gonna put this name right here and then click slash again and they will give you an address like this all you got to do is to copy that in, into the Windows Explorer and you click enter now you can see again it's gonna ask you to put your username and password even though if you're on VPN you still are going to get this type of message now this is where you need to type your uh, company's uh, credential. So sometimes you have to put like, let's say, if your company name is corporate dash username, then so it's going to be like, let's say corp slash sample is your username and then put the password right here. And once you click on connect, you're going to get connected to that resource. Now, this is something I'm sure that your IT department will already send you images. But just just in case you get stuck and you put your username and password and it's not working, what can happen right now after this is that you may lock yourself out. So you may not even do anything. Your VPN will get disconnected and your remote desktop sections will, will be disconnected as well. Because this, against, this goes against your Active Directory uh, group policy counts, uh, how many times can you put a wrong password um, or even if you right password and you're doing a wrong method, it may lock you out. So just know that if that happens, then just call your IT department to unlock your account because that's a very common thing that usually people get locked out for. Now, if you're wondering how do I map a drive, I don't need to type this path again and again. You can just dra dra drag this shortcut, put it on your desktop once you authenticate yourself, then you don't have to put this path again and again. Now, to make your life easy, you can also right-click on this PC and you can click on Map Network Drive. And here you can put the same path that your IT department has provided to you. And you can see it says Reconnect at Sign In. So if you do the same process, it's going to add a next drive to your this PC. You will have a C drive and then you will have a network drive this is an easy way for you to not keep typing this again and again and this is where most of the connections will be happening using any connect I hope this video really helped you I hope this video helped the IT departments and if you are interested in more skills and everything like IT related stuff do visit our website which is jobskillshare.org thank you